Between a global pandemic and current political unrest, 2020 and now 2021 have shown us a lot about our country. Teachers here at Madison Central use these current events to help better educate students. I think it's important to understand how government actually works on a day-to-day -day function and how it affects student lives. So I think it's important to incorporate current events into government classes. Uh, and I think it helps students understand how government works. Events like those at the Capitol on January 6th give teachers an opportunity to discuss the messiness of democracy with their students. I looked at the Capitol attack particularly a little bit differently and ended up getting some good advice from another teacher where they gave them space to kind of write about it as well as discuss it. But students aren't always in agreement on these issues. I say the biggest thing is to be a moderator in your classroom. Um, allow both sides to have a voice. Allow both sides to have an opinion. However, be the one to step in as an adult and say, this has gone too far. Debate within a classroom is an easy way for students to hear perspectives that they may not otherwise hear. I have found the discussions over the course of a year that students, they've at least thought about something from a different perspective. Without debate, I think that we have a tendency to only listen to people that say yes to us. And so when you're able to have debate or discussion in a productive way, it forces people to hear the other side and it forces people to be able to prove why their side is better. Our teachers work hard to help students become more responsible citizens, something that is increasingly important in today's political climate. If 2020 taught us anything, it's that disagreement and controversy is inevitable, but open conversation is key to a more understanding democracy. This has been Jacob Grimsley with JNN.